Hello. Today I will show you how to easy repair, fix and replace old and broken 3.5mm stereo audio jack on Beats EP headphones. Last time I showed you how to replace a broken aux cable on Beats EP headphones. Typical problem for all wired headphones, sooner or later the cord connection to the 3.5mm plug breaks and the headphones no longer left or right side sound. To do this repair, you have to buy a new replacement 3.5mm 4 pole jack, if you don't need a working microphone and buttons, then you can also use a 3.5mm 3 pole jack, either way your music will sound like new in both ways. You will also need some instruments, a soldering iron and a heat shrink tubing. Start by cutting off the damaged jack, cut it a few centimeters from the end of the jack. Then straighten the cable starting from the remote, this will prolong the life of the headphones as the excess rubber is stretched. Put the jack housing on the cable, as it will not possible after soldering. Cut off a small heat shrink tubing, use the pliers to make it a little bigger, and put it also on the cable. Remove the cable outer jacket with a sharp paper knife, but be careful not to damage the internal wires. Separate all the inner wires by color. Cut off the fabric thread so as not to interfere with the repair process. Gold wires need braiding together, they will be for mic and speaker ground. It should look like this, four wires. Tin all wires, so they can be soldered to the jack more easily and qualitatively. Then with a multimeter find out which wire is left, right channels, which is mic, and which wire is ground. If you don't know how to use a multimeter, watch my last Tech Screw School video on how to use a multimeter. If you don't have a multimeter, you can disassemble the headphone, and then see what wires are connected to each channel. Once the color wiring is known, tin the 3.5mm 4 pole jack contacts. Cut off the excess length of wire and solder the microphone wire first. Then secure the wire by crimping it with metal clips. Pinch off the excess length and solder the left channel. Then do the same with the right channel wire and solder also the ground wire. Once all wires are soldered, connect the headset to the phone and test headphones with a video from Tech Screw D channel. Check that the headphones sound as they should and that the microphone is working. Everything works and sounds like new headphones. Super. Then put super glue where the cable connects to the jack housing. Apply heat shrink tubing over the top of the metal clips, this will give a very good fixing of the cord and a longer life. Coat all contacts with grandmother's nail polish to prevent future short circuits. Apply super glue where the wire joins the jack, also apply super glue to all contacts. Screw the jack housing on top and tighten it securely to prevent it screwing loose. Cut off the jack size heat shrink tubing, using the clamps to expand it larger, to fit over the 3.5mm jack. At the input jack housing, apply super glue and attach the heat shrink tubing over the top. Here's the result. Repaired Beats EP headphones, they look and work like new. The link to buy the jack will be in the video description. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post them below this video, in the comments section. I'd be delighted. If you like and subscribe this video, to support my work and meet me at a new money saving videos. Thank you.